Starting us off is Ghost Dealers on Garth One Eye. This is a five color flicker commander, aiming to kitty cat combo with Garth and a haste enabler, letting you gain infinite mana and brain geyser your opponents out, while relying on Garth's toolbox of effects to help you out of tricky situations. Next up is Holy Septic on Okan and Xander Split. This is a traditional Is It Breach deck that utilizes each of its commanders for value and as win conditions. You can draw so many cards off an early Xander Split, or you can one shot someone with Oakum. With one card combos such as Frenetic Afrit, while relying on the traditional Underworld Breach lines. In the third spot is Hidden Planet X on Lara Croft. He's borrowing a list from EDH Senpai, and it's certainly a spicy one. This is actually a secret infinite mana deck, using Lara as an early game mana enabler with a good body and a bit of recursion while actually aiming for looping Docksides and other such for a variety of combos. And bringing up the rear is Nybar on Timna Kodama. This is an Abzan combo deck, aiming to use Kodama in a variety of one card combos, while eschewing a few of the more heavier stacks pieces for combo pieces such as Chain of Smog, Witherbloom Apprentice, and then using Timna as a value engine to keep you in the game. All right, block there, kill that. Oh, that is trample. Guess I'm just dead on board. Ghost Stealers and Hidden both mold a 5, with Nybar at 6. Ghost Stealers starts off the game with an Underground Sea into a Deathrite Shaman. Septic shocks in a Steam Vents and casts a turn 1 Mystic Remora. Hidden cracks a Verdant Catacombs for a Taiga, but shortcuts as he uses it on a Soul Ring, giving a card to Septic off the fish. Dang, uh, between the death right and the fish. Nybar plays a flooded strand as land, cracking it for a savannah, but also shortcuts for a haywire might. Ghost Dealers plays a bloodstained mire, cracking it to grab out a plateau, and then for three casts a wheel of fortune. He gives a card to Septic and the wheel resolves. I, okay, I had I an LED. Strand. I was gonna I was gonna give him another card, but I was like, nah, fuck him. Uh, flooded Strand, Pluto Delta, Mental Misstep, Chain of Vapor, Cluster Storm, Talisman, Fling, and Leveling Hermit. I Ooh, say, I had a Sonic Cluster Screwdriver, I had the One Ring, and I got a Kinnon oh. and a Breeding Pool. Nice. Uh, Talisman, Bountiful Promenade, Blood State Mire, Vamp Tutor, Dauntless Dismantler. Septic untaps and pays for fish. He plays a Volcanic Island and ends his turn with a Lotus Petal. Hidden has a Wooded Foothills and cracks it for a Tropical Island. He doesn't like it, but casts a Manifold Key, letting Septic draw, and then a Mox Opal, feeding another card to Septic. And now with Metalcraft active, he ends his turn casting his commander, Lara Croft. Nybar plays a Misty Rainforest. Uh, we are just feeding the crap out of everybody, huh? No, you exile your thing to kill it. Um... No, I'm going to pay a life with the Mystery Forest to go fetch for a land. No. <laughs> he cracks the fetch and grabs out a bayou. A jeweled lotus then comes out with him giving a card to Septic. Cracking the lotus to help him cast his commander Timna the Weaver. The commander resolves and before heading to combat, Nybar casts a delighted halfling. Turning his insect sideways at Septic for one and ending his turn after paying a life to draw from Timna. Ghost Dealers has a command tower as land and has a tinder wall. Septic lets his fish go and has an island. Next up is a Chromox imprinting a march of swirling mist, tapping out for his commander Xander Split. He has the combat and triggers his commander, naming odds as a win and whiffing this time, passing after that. Hidden plays a Scalding Tarn, cracking it to grab out a Volcanic. Hidden then heads the combat, sending his commander at Nybar with an on-attack trigger exiling Hidden's One Ring. Nybra then takes the hit, with Hidden getting a treasure off the raid trigger, with Hidden on his second main casting the One Ring, which resolves gaining in protection, as he follows it up with the Mystic Remora. Ghost Dealers does have a response, as he casts an Intuition, to which Hidden responds by tapping his ring to draw. The Intuition resolves, with Ghost Dealers grabbing out a Savine's Reclamation, Brain Freeze, and a Silence with Nybar giving him the brain freeze and the fish finally resolving, with Hidden being done after that. 
Um, what to do, what to do. We are in a pickle. Amen, brother. Yeah. Mr. Gawara. You know you want to do it. It's the second one. <laughs> I believe it. Um, yeah, now I'm going to keep this around for reasons. <laughs> Nybor then plays a cave of Coriolos into a mana crypt. He gives a card to Hidden and then casts a Birds of Paradise. Ghost Dealers has a savanna as land and for five casts his commander, Garth One-Eye. The commander resolves and then he cracks the tinder wall for red to cast a mass hysteria with Hidden drawing again. Septic plays a command tower and this time he casts his other commander, Oakum. He resolves and combat is held. Septic has two triggers and triggers Oakum first. Odds is victory and he starts rolling and keeps rolling and rolling. And at this point, Hidden is very happy he has protection. As with every win, he draws a card off Xander Split and doubles Oakum's power. He loses after 10 flips and then resolves his Xander Split trigger, this time only winning three more rolls. After that, Septic then sends Oakum at Ghost Stealers for a lot of damage, with Ghost Stealers chumping with his Garth. Tapping the commander to cast a Black Lotus though before the damage happens. With the only thing left to do is having Septic discard a whole bunch due to hand size. Hidden takes one from his ring and pays for his fish. Amnamo then comes out his land for turn and Hidden then taps his ring to draw two. Although he doesn't like anything he got and he untaps the ring with the Minamo to let him tap it to draw three more cards. A Paradise Mantle then comes out with Hidden following that up with a Bloom Tender, who has haste due to the mass hysteria. He then equips his commander with the Paradise Mantle and attempts to cast a Deadeye Navigator, to which Nybar responds with a Reprieve. Hidden draws and fires off a Force of Will, exiling a Flesh Duplicate. And while Nybar is out of responses, Septic casts a Fierce Guardianship. Hidden does get to draw off the fish, and cast a brainstorm just in case he has anything else. But at this point, enough is enough, and Hidden doesn't mind trust trying next turn. Ending his turn, discarding a Helm of the Host, Anger of the Gods, and a Rhystic Study due to hand size. Nybar untaps and rolls for Crypt, winning the flip and giving a card to Septic with Xander Split. Nybar then heads to combat, sending Timnet Ghost Stealers and the Haywire at Septic. There are no blocks, and Nybar uses the two life he gained off Timna to draw two more cards. On his second main, he casts his other Commander Kodama of the East Tree. He then plays a City of Brass's land and triggers Kodama to put an Emergence Zone into play. Following that up with a Bloom Tender. This triggers Kodama to put a Talisman of Resilience into play. And still not done yet, Nybar casts a Kenner's Transformation. He gives a card to Hidden and enchants the Oakum. Nybar gets to draw off the ETB and then off the Kodama trigger puts in a very sad gemstone cavern. Ghost Stealers has a Manamo as land for turn and starts off with an Entomb. He feeds a card to Hidden and bins an Orcish Bowmaster, with him following it up with a Reanimate, targeting the Bowmaster. Hidden draws off the fish, but the Reanimate resolves, getting him back the Bowmaster, who on ETB pings the Haywire Might. Nybar does have a response as he pops the Might to exile the One Ring. And now free from the Might's tyranny, Ghost Stealer casts an Underworld Breach. Hidden draws and Septic responds with a Pact Negation, giving another card to Hidden. The Pact resolves with Ghost Stealers then cracking his Black Lotus to help flash back his Savine's Reclamation. Hidden draws again and responds by tapping his commander for a blue for a Swan Song. And with that, Ghost Stealers is out of mana and hands the turn over. And luckily for the table, Septic has to spend his mana on a pack trigger. He plays a City of Brass and heads to combat. He really wants to win to trigger the Bowmaster to shoot down Hidden's Bloom Tender. I want you to win at least once. <laughs> There's a Bloom Tender that needs to go. <laughs> That's also very true. Come on, one. That's two. Okay. No. <laughs> the one time I don't lose, I don't have, I don't win twelve in a row. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, I pass. Hidden untaps and lets his fish go. Hidden then recasts his dead eye, to which Septic casts a pyroblast to take the spirit out. Well, I guess I can just try and go for it. Uh oh. 
Uh -oh. I thought that was going for it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I have nothing. Hidden then casts a Lion's Eye Diamond and uses the Floating Red to cast a Gamble. He finds a card and randomly discards a Lightning Bolt, following that up with a Deserted Temple as land and then an Underworld Breach. This lets him gamble for Brain Freeze, and while he could just mill everyone out, he actually grabs out a Terror of the Peak and recasts his Deadeye to infinitely flicker to shoot the whole table down, winning him the game. Game Review Well, I wouldn't exactly call that collusion, but I do want to give the MVP to Ghost Stealer's Mass Hysteria. As I was laughing so hard, I almost combo killed with his help. I do also want to thank Nybar, as his Haywire Might was crucial from stopping Ghost Stealers from going off earlier. And lastly, I want to thank Septic, as with Oakum out, Everyone was afraid of him as well, and just not looking at my board at all. And before everyone leaves, I want to thank a special Patreon member, Josh Schutt, for his support of the channel, along with all of our other Patreon supporters as well. And as always, I want to thank all the players who joined for the games. And remember, never give up, even if you're dead on board. I'll see you guys later.